Today I am going to do the What's in Bloom video for the month of July. So here we have the beautiful Phalaenopsis Karin Aloha. I absolutely adore this Phalaenopsis orchid. She has this beautiful purple spots on the yellow background. This is one of my favorites. I know that she can produce a better bloom display, but uh, I am happy with uh, what I got this year. Amazing little plant. And here we have a new acquisition. This is my beautiful Phalaenopsis Magic Art. I adore this orchid. She has this beautiful uh, purple stripes that are very very pretty defined by white and uh, I like very very much how this uh, pinkish girlish color fades in the white and uh, whenever I have a little purple spot it is uh, very clear defined by the white color so uh, she is a very pretty orchid and uh, I think the name really suits her whoever bred and obtained this orchid must be very very happy because this really is a piece of art and the bloom display it is also very nice I have, I still have a few buds to open she can uh, produce multiple spikes I have two spikes actually and uh, a lot of branches too so uh, I can imagine that uh, next year she will uh, bloom even better for me my beautiful Phalaenopsis Rio Grande, or uh, how I called her Phalaenopsis Ivy, has rebloomed and uh, she has these beautiful blooms. I uh, obtained these ones by applying Kiki paste, but uh, the orchid uh, already decided what the nubbins will be, and uh, so I got. Uh, to secondary spikes in place of cakes, but that is okay. I'm very very happy, and here I have a little Peloia. This orchid can produce bigger uh, blooms than this, but uh, I know that uh, right now she is a little bit exhausted because uh, she has just finished blooming and after that she pushed up these two spikes, so uh, she needs to grow a few more leaves and gain more strength. I also have reported her into semi-hydro. What I like a lot about uh, these blooms it is that uh, if you look closely, closely they seem to be surrounded by this very nice white line all along and around the blooms which makes them very very attractive and the color it is also very very intense here we have the Phalaenopsis peach sun she is still in bloom still, still looking great and uh, here I seem to have a little botrytis attack on the bloom this is the first time it ever happens to me but that is okay if you want to know more about botrytis uh, these spots like that uh, you should uh, check the comment section below I will put you a link towards uh, an ebook that I wrote about uh, this disease she has this beautiful peachy color with the red stripes and the lip it is so so red and pretty I have quite a few special files in my collection. I like them a lot. Here I have a little spike from my uh, Dendrobium Enobi Stripe Pink Splash crossed with Dendrobium Enobi Stripe Purple Splash. I cannot wait to see this orchid in bloom. I recently purchased it from Clayson and uh, I was quite surprised to see it blooming uh, after so little time but I'm a little bit worried because I can see at the base she has some root tips that uh, stopped growing and uh, all of those were new roots and whenever I see that I suspect fusarium but uh, yeah I won't cut uh, into this orchid to find out because uh, anyway I am applying fungicide to my orchids. And here we have the Phalaenopsis Baldans Kaleidoscope Golden Treasure. This is a very special orchid for me. It belonged to the mother of my boyfriend, so I want to take great care of her. 
she's a little bit fragrant and she has a lot of sparkles and uh, the red stripes on the yellowish background makes it very very attractive but uh, I want to show you something here I have three cakes uh, or actually I think I have more of them let me bring you a little bit closer so you can see that from this cake it has from the node it has uh, decided to produce actually two cakes on this side one here and I have another one at the base there so uh, I will have uh, more cakes from her and uh, hopefully in one or two years more blooms and here we have the very very pretty Phalaenopsis Leodoro she's still in bloom she's still looking amazing I am very impressed by the colors of this orchid but what is even more amazing it is the fragrance she smells uh, quite lemony and citrusy and very very powerful so uh, it is a great addition to my collection and she has uh, another spike here with two buds she is growing in semi hydro and she loves it and here we have the Phalaenopsis Manhattan's Rose with quite a few blooms she gave me quite a nice display this year and uh, all it's coming from secondary spikes so uh, this is why I say you should never cut a Phalaenopsis spike and I can see here she will produce more branches so uh, I'm quite happy with this orchid and here we have the amazing Masdevalia Huyana Pichu I was so so happy to see this orchid uh, in spike and when she opened the blooms I was even more happy now I don't know why mine didn't want to open uh, the blooms correctly but uh, she is supposed to look kind of like let me help her a little bit well let's say more more open more like this but uh, yeah she decided to curl those uh, petals backwards but that is okay i love the colors of this orchid i mean look at look at that how can you not love these colors and uh, i also think that she is a sequential bloomer because um, you see there i had another bloom that faded away and uh, here I have a thing growing and uh, I might have damaged it I wanted to remove the dried sheet from it but uh, I hope it will grow I really don't know what is that so uh, I know some Mazdevalias and uh, Dracula orchids uh, can be sequential so uh, I hope this one is too one of its uh, parents it is so uh, here we have my beautiful Dendrobium Pink Delight. This is a Dendrobium Phalaenopsis type and the blooms are so so beautiful. I have quite a few purple orchids and uh, I guess you can totally understand why. The colors are so beautiful and here I have another spike. Let me focus. That uh, will open uh, its blooms soon. But more interesting, I have here my Zygopetalum Trousy Blue with its uh, beautiful buds. I'm so happy that I managed to save this orchid from Fusarium, guys. She smells, she will smell so, so nice. And the Phalaenopsis Harlequin, it's still in bloom, guys. This orchid stayed so many months in bloom and uh, I cannot be more happy because the blooms are so large and beautiful. I mean, just look at those purple spots. Quite a unique and exquisite orchid. I love her. And here we have the Miltonidum Melissa Brianne with all its beautiful blooms. This is another piece of art. I cannot even understand how they managed to obtain such beautiful orchids. This is a more newly open bud. I will just let you appreciate her true beauty. And here we have the Phalaenopsis Pulcherima Alba. She almost opened all her blooms. She still has a few buds there on the top. But the blooms are so so small and pretty guys. Let me try to focus. Here you go. Unfortunately she is not fragrant but I really love white orchids. 
and here we have the beautiful Phalaenopsis Cassandra still in bloom after so many months. She's still continuing to produce more and more buds from the tip of the spike. And the blooms that are produced in my care has uh, have a little bit more color, so uh, I guess she likes uh, higher light and she's growing a new leaf there. All my Phalaenopsis orchids are in semi-hydro and they adore it. So alright guys, this is all for today. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is the first time you are watching a video on my channel, make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all my orchid videos. Thank you for watching and see you all next time. Bye!